Welcome to Sin Lighting and today this video is basically about the cost of ownership like what's the real true cost of ownership there's the 5D Mark IV there which is actually an old camera that we've been using for a couple of which these videos are made on there's the C700 with the Super D5 sensor um, the Crystal View transmitter and the Vlog battery the C500 Mark II the newest from the US line edition um, yeah and I'll start by saying that um, we are now in an age where most cameras produce amazing image quality. Where the texture that you get from the data that's been acquired and how it's been interpreted by these cameras are a lot more interesting and I find them a little bit more filmic or in the way that actually appeals to me, which is basically subjective. Um, so going forward, the C500 Mark II goes for about 16 grand, which is 15.99 basically, and Basically, you get the body, a battery, uh, a 512 um, CF, um, CF Express, and the grip, the mic holder, and the 5 inch, 7 inch monitor, I guess. No, 5 inch monitor. And out of the box, if you could find any old tripod in your house and an ODF lens, you could literally put it on it and start to shoot. As opposed to, we you could kill it up more if you want to like put a mad box put some extra rails put some stuff but at the barest minimum package it goes out of the box ready to shoot the battery lasts can last you up to about um two two hours 30 minutes of runtime shoot so far real world usage from my own experience um if you have like two or three of these it could probably power you through the whole day for a full day shoot um the c700 goes for about 28,000 for the Super 35. I, I don't know what the full frame is, I would probably confirm that. And out of the box, you get the body, you get the V-mount attachment, if you have a V-lock battery and an old EF lens, even if it's plastic, whatever, you're ready to shoot. And both of them offers the C-log, the C-log 2, and the C-log 3, whatever your favor is. Which, the C-log has about 12 stops of dynamic range, which is around the territory of the old C500, the first C500. Um, the C-log 2, has 15 stops guaranteed on this <clears throat> which has been greatly improved from the c300 mark ii and the c log 3 is about 13.6 14 stops of dynamic range which is also decent for faster turnaround times um, so when you look at the total cost of ownership it's usually i call it like an out of the box ready to shoot there's some um, camera um, packages from several manufacturers that the brain alone cost <laughs> way more than both of these you get but this gives those who are ready to actually obtain a cinema level quality a window into a, obtaining such kind of quality without actually breaking the bank and without several um things that you would need that the camera is depending on function because basically what do you need you have a monitor you have it there to shoot you have um the battery that comes in with it you have a card and whatever old lenses you have can just fit in and you can start to shoot with your old tripod you get for the c700 same thing although this at the studio level so you get the body you should have your batteries um there's a package back then that came with cards i don't know whether that's still on but back then it came with cards you get and you could get the evf or you could use like your old monitor and you're ready to go you get the EDF is quite expensive though but you could actually substitute that for like your own old monitor forgive the plane passing by yeah so if you look at the entire lineup um, the 5D Mark IV has the capability of shooting C-Log the C700 has the capability of shooting C-Log C-Log 2, C-Log 3 also this has the capability of shooting C-Log, C-Log 2, C-Log 3 in the scenarios whereby you need to go on the big dolly, you have like a three-man crew, a larger production, you have a C700 and the second AC, the first AC around it, um, your crash cam unit, you can rig that up on the 5D Mark IV and use um, or even the interesting 1DX Mark III which we'll get into the studio here and also try out and um, see how all of them becomes this large um, unified ecosystem whereby each camera caters to several needs. You get from the 1DX Mark III, you could get out the RAW, which is the 5.4K RAW. There's RAW here, there's RAW here. We have a Cinelog here, 
which allows you to acquire more range of data. We have scene log here or C log 2 that you can get 15 stops and all of these logs match seamlessly. So like any cameras that has a C log profile that you put in the entire structure of your acquisition chain still helps you in getting much data which you could actually use in unifying the entire scheme. So that's something to keep in mind and consider. You will not need to like get, I, I know Canon doesn't make GoPros yet, but the small DSLRs are rigable and could fit into crash cams and you could get way more out of them. What do you think? Do you think that these cameras fit into your workflow or you think there's something else that you would like to try out? What do you have in mind as how the entire lineup is in? We've got, this could be like your studio setup, that could be like your gimbal camera or your Steadicam camera, and that could be like your crash camera that you rig for car chase or some other things whereby you need to be nimble or probably a dashboard cam you get so yeah this is just an overview brief my next video is going to go into the in-depth talking about menu structure more focusing on this and c500 mark ii and how it compares to this in terms of body build and some other things you get and the body if you look at it, it's pretty much light so even your older runnings your running ones uh will feel on because you could just take up the top handle this has a 320 um screw here that you could use on the running tool to actually keep the monitor there so you could actually see and control the camera the way you intend and or you like it or you could even put a cold shoe here probably at one of the top with a square screw and put the monitor there and be able to like have the monitor on the gimbal for you so your older runnings and your older equipment will work you don't you may not even need to go to the running tool this you will definitely go to the running tool because if you pull out 28 grand for this you should be ready to go all the way out because this is a studio camera designed for such cases it's not it's not for the it's for the big boys so to speak <laughs> so yeah that's like a general review that we made on these cameras and we'll go in depth we'll test out footage codex dynamic range even the summary glasses against the normal efs and we would um we get to see and learn in the process so until next time improvise adapt and overcome